Hey everyone, welcome to Great Learning. Triggers are the special kind of stored procedures. It is defined as database objects which are automatically executed whenever there is any change in database. It is used to maintain the integrity constant in the database tables. It is very useful when you are validating inserted or updated data in batches. It is nested up to 32 levels and it also allows recursion and it is mainly used for the auditing purposes. It provides the ability to do things that we are unable to do with basic SQL codes. It can be called when a row is inserted on a specified table or when certain table columns are being updated. My name is Gaurav and we will be discussing about SQL triggers. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing, so make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to comment on the video, any queries or suggestions and I will also respond to your comments. Moving to agenda, we will be knowing about what are triggers and what all operations that we can perform to execute triggers. Now, we will be also covering some real world examples and how triggers can be applied on a database. Then, moving to next is syntax. Here, we will create a trigger and we will perform some basic operations in it and there will be an ongoing before ongoing event or after ongoing event. Then, in hands-on operation, we will see some practical examples in my SQL workbench and the last is the benefits and advantages that what are the benefits if we are using SQL triggers in real life scenario. First we will be knowing about what are triggers. So as you can see the definition triggers are the SQL statements or the stored procedures that are executed automatically in order of occurrence of any event. So this was the formal definition of triggers. Now what exactly means how we can implement triggers in a database. So whenever there is any change or modification in a database, it might be either in row or in the column values, then the trigger will be executed. So it will be executed if any one of the operations is performed. So it might be due to DML operations, DDL operations or logon operations. Now coming to further, what do you mean by DML operations? As we know, DML means data manipulation language. It is used for basically insertion of a data, deletion of data and if you want to update any data you can use it. So insert, update and delete. These all are the operations of DML commands. Coming next to DDL. As we know DDL stands for data definition language. It defines database schema. So if you want to create any table you can use DDL. It is also used to create, alter or drop any table. So the last one is the logon event. So when we are performing any database operation such as long on, long off or shut down, then the trigger will be executed. So this was all about the triggers. Now let's see some real world examples of triggers. When a kid started seeing a movie and suppose suddenly an emotional scene has come there and he started crying. As soon as he saw an emotional scene, he started crying. That means trigger is executed at that particular time. Another example is like that when a man is going to the forest and suddenly he saw a lion. As soon as he saw a lion, the trigger is executed. And as I told you in the formal definition of trigger, triggers are the SQL statement or stored procedures that are executed automatically in order to the execution of any event. So as soon as he saw a lion, suddenly he started running. So triggers are automatically executed. Let's see a practical example. Let's suppose there is a passenger and he has booked his ticket and he got a confirmation mail. But that confirmation mail is manually provided by the officer, attendant office, flight attendant officer. So if a flight attendant officer is sending each and every passenger manually a mail, it will take a lot of time, right? Because there will be a lot of passengers who will be traveling for one flight. So in this case, triggers comes into the picture. So what happens here, if we apply a trigger on database, and suppose if somebody is booking his ticket by giving his all his credentials, then trigger will be automatically executed and it will send the confirmation message to every passenger. But 
suppose the trigger was not applied then our efficiency will be also decreases and the human error chances is more the time taken will be also more consumer at that time so this is the advantages of trigger if we apply a trigger then automatically we get the mail and we don't have to monitor and now we will see the syntax of trigger so if we want to create a trigger we will write create trigger and the name of the trigger let's say create trigger and write gorov now next is before and after it means trigger will be executed before or after ongoing event and then these are the dml operations insert update and delete so we can have six types of triggers here before insert after insert before update after update before delete and after delete triggers now on table name it means on which table trigger is applied so in whatever table if i want to apply the trigger i will write the table name here next is our for each row it means a trigger is executed whenever there is any change or modification change or modification may be in the form of insertion updation or deletion the last is trigger body in trigger body operations are performed when trigger is executed now moving next the syntax explanation as you can see this is the formal explanation of each syntax that i have already explained with all of you so this is create trigger trigger name it means declare trigger with name similarly for before after insert update and delete these are dml operations on which table trigger will be applied for each row and the trigger body so these are the syntax explanation that has been already discussed now moving next we'll see some hands on operation that how we can perform trigger and then we can execute trigger in a database so let's see some example yeah so for hands on example i am using mysql workbench so if we want to create a trigger what we have to do first of all we have to create a table so we must know the basic knowledge of sql queries so i will create a table first so i will write create table and the name of the table let's suppose passenger i am taking and then parenthesis open parenthesis and after that if i am having the name of the table uh, passenger so let's suppose the passenger will be having a name and it's what we do, uh, what we do need for the passenger it's age and then where he wants to go then address so let's write name name as in where care so here where care is a data type that is variable type character and i will give the size to 20 moving next next i will write id id and then i will give a uh, in data type again i will give the size 10 and then the address where passengers wants to go so i will write address where care right 20 you can give any size i have just written 20 here so moving next i will also give the charges because if you are going if you are traveling anywhere then there must be a particular charges so i am writing charges and here i will give again a data type int now here you can see that if a person is uh name is there and id is there address is there charges is are there right so what is the unique there so unique is id a person id can't be same as the another person so it must be unique so i will declare id as a primary key here so i'll write primary key and inside that primary key i will write id so here i've declared a primary key so this is the table right so i have created a table whose name is passenger and i will just want to display this table so how will i display this table so i will write select star from table name so here table name is passenger and then don't forget to give semicolon so first i will execute this so here you can see that create table so my table has been already created here now i want to display this table so i will Just click on this. So here you can see that my table has been created, having the column name, name, ID, addresses, and charges. Now moving next, what I will do? I will insert value, right? So 
I will in, if I want to insert a value, then I have to write again SQL query. So I will write insert into table name values. So what's the table name? Passenger. So I will write passenger. And here I will write values. Now what values I have to store in a table? I have to store the values of a name, right? Let's say let's have I have a written first name as a Gaurav. Then ID, let's suppose ID is 459 and then address, I have to go to Bangalore. Always remember whenever you are writing any where care, always put it on into the double inverted comma. So after that uh, charges, let's take from Bengaluru charge apply charges is 5000 I will write 5000 so that's it so this is the value that I will insert for my the passenger that is the first passenger whose name is Gora. now I will just copy it and paste it so I will change here name of different name let's take here we are having monies Here we are having Asta. You can take any name. Let's take Ram. And here take Shyam. And now suppose he Manish is having his ID 460, 461. 462 and then 463 and the, as we know let's take he has to go Manish has to go to Jammu Jammu and then Asta has to go to Hyderabad so I will just change the name fast Hyderabad Cochin And then Srinagar. So there will be different charges. So I am just putting, let's suppose here the charge is 7000, here is 9, 9k, 8000, and from Srinagar, 10,000. So I have created a table here and I have inserted the value. So if I want to execute, I will click on this light button. So you can see that my value has been inserted now I want to display this inserted value so I will write here select star from passengers and then here you can see that my value has been also displayed right so this was the basic table that we have created and inserted the value now I was telling about the trigger that how to create a trigger now I will create a trigger so how to create a trigger so the syntax was create trigger and then trigger name so I will give the trigger name as flight so trigger has been created here right and inside that trigger after this what we have to do we were having two options either to go after and for before right so that was all about when trigger is executed before ongoing event or after ongoing event so what we will do we will perform here for before ongoing event and then we can we are also having the operations like insertion deletion and updation right so you were I will perform an insert so I will perform here before insert triggers right and then after this what was there on which table we want to apply right so on passenger table I want to apply trigger so I will write on passenger then for each row right this was the syntax yeah so here last syntax of the trigger was like trigger body right so here we are performing operations so here i will perform a set operation i will write set and we were having the charges right here as in column name so i will set uh, set a new new dot charges so let's suppose that new uh, dot charges will be like new dot charges minus i want to decrease from 2000 so I will write here 2000 so this is the new charges that I have set for the flight right so if I execute it 
my trigger has been executed now as you know that i have given you the definition of trigger that whenever there is any modification in the database trigger will be executed right so here i have already created the trigger and how you will get to know that trigger will be executed let me give you an idea here we are applying the trigger on passenger table right so i will insert one more value into the passenger table so i will insert insert into passenger table insert into passenger values and i will insert the name let's suppose atith and his id number is also 496 let's suppose and then he wants to go raipur and what's the price suppose the raipur charge uh, cost of flight is 10000 this is the values that we going to insert into the passenger values right so here i have inserted this values and here you can see that this value has been already inserted into the table now i told you whenever we are doing any modification so here we are doing modification as an insertion insertion as in before insert so the value will be already updated the new value will be updated updated and then it going to be stored into the database right so how trigger will execute so if i want to see the table so i will i want to display the table so i will call through sql queries that is select i will call through this query itself right select star from passenger now if i am calling this thing you can see that trigger will be executed so you can see that atirth price was 10000 but here we are getting the new charges 8000 why because we have created the trigger so as soon as we have created the trigger there was a modification in the table so trigger was executed and here is the practical example so this was the example of before insert trigger okay let's take another example of sql triggers so this time we will take example of after insert trigger so for after insert trigger we need two tables so i will create a table create table and the table name will be college student so let us write college student and inside that i will take a name of college student and data type is where care and then i'm just taken 10 size here and after that id i will take id will be int and then again i have given the size 10 here name id and then you can also give the age so i will give age here int and 10 now i will also create a primary key since id is unique for every individual student so i will write primary key id right so this is the table that we will create so here you can see that our table is created now we will display this table so again i will write select star from table name is college student now if i am again executing it and here you can see that our table has been created with column name name id and age now moving to next we have to create two tables right so this is the table one whose name is college student now i will create another table create table let's say name of this table is college audit table so why i am creating audit table first of all we have to understand the meaning of audit audit is used to maintain records it may be related to accounts financial and up to the record must be up to the date right so here i will show you that how we can implement triggers so this is the college audit table and here i will write let's say id id int and after that we can also write yeah audit description we will write audit
or the description and again the data type we will give here is where care so we have to write description so I will give a size of 1000 here and I will once again create a primary key for ID so we have already created another table college audit now let's see this table select a star from college audit so this here we can see that we are having the column name with id and audit description so we have created two tables now i will show you how to create trigger and how we are implementing triggers here now i will create a trigger so i will write create trigger and the trigger name let's say trigger name is after insert okay and this after insert after insert on college student i can write so i will write after insert college okay so after this create trigger i will write what was the syntax about so i will apply after trigger right after insert trigger i will write after insert on table name so on which table i want to apply my trigger so i want to apply my trigger here on college student so i will write college student right so what do you mean by after insert trigger here so trigger will be fired after inserting a value on college student table right and then we will write on each row again what is the meaning of on each row that means trigger will be fired on inserting the value on each row let's take an example suppose we are inserting uh, three rows in college student table right so the trigger will be fired for all the three rows and if you want to put five rows values then trigger will be fired for all the five rows okay so after that now it's time to create a trigger body so inside trigger body i will write let's suppose i will insert one more value okay into which table into college audit table so why i will insert value in college table insert into college audit values i want that whenever i am inserting any data into the college student table i also want a row to be inserted into the college audit values so what i will do here i will write so insert into college audit values so if you will go to the college audit table we can see that id right so here i will write id1 and then we have to give audit description right so for audit descriptions let's say a new row is created right what i will do first i will do concatenation so why i am using concatenation here i am using concatenation to attach for adding we can use concatenation right so in, inside concatenation what we will do uh, i will write a new row is inserted a new row is inserted and then at what time i want that a new is a new row is inserted at that particular time so i will i can use the format of date format so i will use date format and inside that i can also use now method so if i will do the now method so it will show me the current time right but i want that date and time to be according to mine right so i will here write i will write percentage d then i will write month percentage m percentage m and then percentage y so this was all about the date right but i also want to be for the time so for the time what i will do uh, for the time i will do let's take we can take h so this is nothing but a 12 hours format and then we'll write i this is for minute and then we can take for second we will write s right and the last is for am and pm so we'll write here percentage p right and then we'll do 
we'll close this okay so we got this we have already made this insert into values so let's execute this right and here we have to also put percentage right don't forget to put percentage sign so here let's we have already having the trigger let's execute this so why here it's showing error because syntax is for each row right now it's good to go so if we execute it we can see that our trigger has been created right so in this trigger we will see that whenever we are inserting any data on college student we will be also getting the row that will show that a new row is inserted at that particular time right so that means if this is showing that our trigger has been executed that is after insert trigger triggers right now once the trigger has been created now what i will do i will insert a value in college student table right i was telling to you that if i am inserting any data on this table you will see that trigger will be executed on this table and you will also see the date and time in the college audit table itself so i am inserting here insert into table name will be college student values and inside that we were having attributes name id and age so i will give name manish let's say and the id let's say the id of manish is 250 and then we are having the age age is 25 right so if i am executed it it's executed now let's see let's display the table so for displaying table what we can do we'll write select star from college student that is table name so this is a query so here if i display it i got that manish is having the name name is name is manish and then id is 250 and then age is 25 but what is the formal definition of trigger i told you that the trigger i am applying trigger on this thing right on college student so if i am applying a trigger on this college student table then i have also told you that when you will apply a trigger on this a new row will be inserted and it will be showing the date and time also right so we'll see the date and time for the new for the new table also so i will write select start from and then i will write college audit because if you are applying a trigger on this thing on college student table and trigger is executed then it will show the date and time in the audit table right so i will write select start from college audit and here you can see a new row is inserted at on 8 july 7 21 and the timing is also given that means when we are applying a trigger on this college student table trigger is automatically executed so whenever there will be any modification in a database so here we were doing the insertion value we were applying after insert triggers right on this table so there was a modification so hence the modification is there trigger will be executed so this was the example of after insert trigger yeah so let's see another example of sql triggers and this time we will be implementing before update triggers so for that i will create a table and let's say the table name is workers inside that i will give a attribute id and its data type is int and then i will give a name and the last income so i will write here comma and comma okay so for income again i am using int and since id is unique so i will declare it as a primary key so i'll write primary key and then inside that i'll write id so our table has been created let's execute yeah okay 
so now after this i will once again i will insert a value in this table so i'll write insert into table name is workers and then values so id i will give one and the name i will give here manish and after that the income is let's suppose income is 10000 so i have inserted the value into the workers table and now i will see i will write select star from workers that is table name so that we can see the inserted value in the table so here we can see the value has been inserted so we have already created a table now we'll create a trigger so for creating a trigger i will write here so we are using here delimiter right so delimiter we were also using in stored procedures so for defining triggers so we are using delimiters for defining itself now if i want to create a trigger i will write create trigger and the name of the trigger so i will write name of the trigger before insert before update because we are performing for update right so it will be good if i am giving the name before update so create trigger before update now trigger can be fired before ongoing event or after ongoing event so i want to perform on before ongoing event so i will write before then we are having operations like insertion updation deletion but i will apply for update so before update and on which table i want to apply i will write the table name on table name is workers and then after that for each row so this was the basic syntax of the trigger now inside we are the last thing is the trigger body right and we have to perform some operations so i will write here begin and inside that begin we are having the income let's say 10000 right so what can i do here i will write begin if new dot income let's suppose is less than 12000 then i will write set new dot income equal to 12000 okay so here i am telling that if a if any employee whose income is less than 12000 then his new income will be 12000 itself even though his income is 8000 then also his new income will be 12000 because we are implementing here trigger let's see how we can execute it so this was the trigger body part now if i want to close it i will write end if and then i will write end right so our trigger has been executed so let's create this trigger here we can see that our trigger has been executed now after creating a trigger uh, i was performing update right update operations here so in a table i will update the value so i will write here update and was the table name table name is workers so i will write update workers then i am performing here set operation i will write update workers and let's say i am writing set income equal to 11000 where because we have given the insertion for this value right for manish so i will write where and here i have declared the id as a primary key so i will call through id itself so i will write where id is equal to 1 so i will execute this query and it's executed now i will call my table i want to display my table i want to see my table so i will write select star from workers here you can see that 
मनीस इनकम इज ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड बट आई हैव डन द अपडेटेशन हियर न्यू अपडेट दैट मनीस इनकम मस्ट बी इलेवन थाउजेंड बट बाई आई एम गेटिंग ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड बिकॉज हियर द ट्रिगर हैज बीन एग्जीक्यूटेड सो बिफोर अपडेट ट्रिगर्स गिवस अस द वैलिड रिकॉर्ड ओके वेन ट्रिगर इज फायर्ड सो इवन दो वी हैव अप्लाइड द कंडीशन हियर दैट द इनकम सपोज दैट इफ ए पर्सन इज इनकम अर्निंग मोर लेस देन ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड देन इज इनकम विल बी ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड इट सेल्फ right so here the income of money is was 10000 so the updated income will be 12000 so this shows that trigger has been executed so this was the example of before update triggers now we will see the another example another practical example of after update triggers so in before update triggers we were having only one tables but in after update triggers we need two tables right so that if there is any modification in one table then there will be any there will be an effect on another table so we are already having a one table so i just to save time i will not you know change the table name so we'll create another table name i will write create table and here we are having the in the first table name is workers so in second table again i will give the audit employee audit table name just like that we have seen the example in after insert triggers right so create table employee audit and in this employee audit again i will create an id having integer data type and then after that after creating this id i will create a description so i will write audit description here and then i will use where care data type for this i will write 100 size of this yeah and then i will give primary key to id okay so here i have to keep comma yeah so here you can see that we have created another table right so if i want to see yeah table has been created let's display this table also so i will write select star from employee audit yeah so i am having two tables one table name is workers and another table name is employee audit now what i will do i will implement trigger here so again i will not delete this instead of this i will write let's name let's uh, change the name to after update trigger and here we are implementing before ongoing event or after ongoing event so we will apply for after update operation will be performed and on which table i want to perform yeah again we will be applying trigger on same table name that is workers one and then for each row begin so inside this because we are dealing with two tables so i want that whenever i am updating and whenever i'm doing any modification in one table i want to just see the effect on another table so i will insert here i will write here insert into so i will insert values into employee audit table so i will write employee employee audit values and inside that what values can i give so here you can see the attribute is yeah here you can see the attribute is id and audit description so i can give id as in let's say 10 and after that audit description we can give anything for audit description let's say but i want to perform some method so that we can get to know that whenever we are updating anything any new row then at what time it the updated row we will be getting so i will apply here concatenation method so i'll write concatenation and inside that i will write updated row 
updated row at and then after this I will write another method that is date format method okay but inside that I want that I want date and format according to mine time right so I will again write here I will write here now so now will give us date and time current date and time here but I will change the syntax according to mine so I want it uh, through so I will, I will write here percentage day and then I will write percentage month I will write percentage y so I will get the date according to date month and year okay and after this I want also time so I will write for the time I want to in 12 hours format so I will write here percentage h for second I will write percentage i and percentage p and percentage s for seconds okay after that am and pm so for that I will write here percentage p and I will close this okay and here we don't need delimiter and end if or end or begin this syntax why we don't need because here we are having only one statement so we can remove this okay and now what I will do I will execute this thing so here yeah here we have to put colon right for date and time now I will execute it and then we will see how the trigger is created before that okay I have to remove this two also right so now I have created my trigger and here we can see that our trigger has been initiated so what I am doing here I want that whenever I am updating my workers table I want a row updated row in the employee audit tables okay so for that what I will do now I will insert the value into workers table so I will write insert into was the table name workers value values or table name was workers right and inside that what we were having the attributes we were having the id name and income so here I will write id is 2 name is Ashish and then income let's say income is 20k 20,000 okay so this is the value that we have inserted into workers table now I want to see that whether this value has been updated in that table or not select a star from workers yeah here we can see that this value has been inserted now I have already inserted this value but I told you that whenever I am doing any update this trigger will be executed right so we will perform now update so I will write update and then table name is workers so I will write workers and then I am performing operation set I will write set income is equal to 25,000 where id is equal to so here I have given id 2 so I will write here id equal to 2 so this thing you can see has been updated in our main table that is workers okay now I told you that whenever we are doing a update then this row will be inserted onto the another table so for that I will call select star select star from employee audit so if I am executing this you can see that there is an we got in audit description that there is an updated row at 9th of July at this particular timing that means the trigger has been executed and this is the after update triggers so I have showed you four examples starting from before insert after insert before update and after update triggers so these were the examples for the triggers now next is advantages of triggers 
So here we can see that it is mainly used for audit purposes. I have also shown you the practical example where we can see that if we are changing, if we are inserting any row on one table, then there will be effect on the another table. So it is mainly used for the audit purposes. Next is used to maintain relationship between two tables. This is nothing just to enforce a referential integrity. You can see that in after insert trigger, we have created two tables and we can find the relationship between them also. And the last is any update or change in one table will affect other tables immediately. This is also known as the replication of tables. That is the synchronous replication of tables. So here we have seen that when we were inserting a row on a table where trigger was applied, we can see the effect on the another table. So these all are the advantages of triggers that we have also seen in the through the example. So let's take a quick recap on SQL triggers. We have started this session by understanding what are triggers, how we can create trigger and how a trigger can be applied in a database. We have also learned of different types of trigger such as before insert triggers, after insert, before update, after update, before delete and after delete triggers. Then we have also seen an hands on example of before insert, after insert, before update and after update triggers. And at last, we have seen the benefits of trigger that how we can apply a trigger in a database so that we can keep our record updated also. So this was all about SQL triggers. Thank you. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing. So make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to comment on the video, any queries or suggestions and I will also respond to your comments.